Big Boar Barbecue presents Seven Rivers Racing on KQG TV with Dan the Voice Judgment, Billy Doc Niles, and Paul the Statman Riker. Brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue, Highway 16 West Salem, in La Crosse on 3rd Street downtown, and George's Gillette Street. Big Boar Barbecue, now that's a mouthful. By Kerry Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist, serving the La Crosse area since 1929. Kerry Heating and Air Conditioning. Welcome in, race fans. KQEG TV, Seven Rivers Racing, and we've got a special one here. Uh, of course, with the COVID this year, we've not been able to take the show on the road, so we've been stuck in the studio the entire time. And what a better way in between the regular race seasons and, say, the Rockford Sh uh, Short Track Nationals and Oktoberfest than to highlight the entire program today with the Sauter Racing family. We are at the uh, Sauter Annual Car Show, and this is way beyond a car show. Uh, we've got a carnival going on. We've got food. You've got beer. You've got music. And, of course, a whole lot of Sauters that we're going to be bringing on the show today. And uh, uh, what a great way to kick this thing off with Johnny Sauter and uh, Jim Sauter Jr. Of course, we taped this last week, so Johnny's just coming over uh, off of his uh, top ten at Dover last week. Guys, thanks for coming on. Yeah, I appreciate you having us. Been a while since. I don't think I've ever had the entire Sauter clan on here, and it's something that I want to come up here every single year, but I never have a chance because I always get stuck DJing weddings or I schedule myself to do so. Uh, and I was just talking to Johnny. This really means a lot to your family. Uh, absolutely. The family and the school here, that's what it's all about. Uh, Dad had this vision, I don't know, it's got to be about 15, 16, 17 maybe years ago. And um, they raise a lot of money. It's all for charity. Uh, so we're happy to be a part of it. And, of course, Johnny, uh, we're not going to take away any solder because if you're a solder, you're a solder, and you're a solder, you're racing. Uh, it's, it's really glad to, to see you here. Um, I know you raced Dover last night and, and had to fly back here, but this seems like an event you would never want to miss. No, this is um, this is a big one. Obviously, um, like little Richard here just said, it's uh, it's all about my old man, and uh, obviously trying to raise money for the school here. So um, it's a good time. Obviously, people bring their cars out here and uh, drink beer and eat hot dogs and hamburgers, whatever, and just kind of socialize and all that. So um, <laughs> you know, the COVID's so real, but um, I'm just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Uh, we're just here to have a good time and raise money. That's what it's all about. So kind of take us back with your dad. How did this eventually get started? Because you were just telling me you guys all went to school back here and spent a lot of many years on this property. How did this actually get started? Actually, it was, I think, mostly dad, right? I mean, uh, he was, was dad. yeah, he was the one that just wanted to have a way to fund, raise funds for the school. So um, the car show was was a good way to do that. He loved cars, built street rods, um, obviously raced for a long time. So um, it seemed like a natural fit for him. And, and uh, so it, it's evolved over the years, obviously raffle off a brand new four wheeler every year and, and things like that, raffle off cash prizes, um, car show plaques, all kinds of different things to try to get people to come out. And and 100% uh, you know, is, is all about donating the money to the school. It was kind of cool because your wife got a hold of me last year knowing I've got connections with the Packers. And I didn't really know what my tickets were going towards, but I donated a pair of um, uh, the really good VIP section, and everybody had food and the whole she oh, shebang. And the gal that won them had never been to a game before, so she takes her brother who had never been to a game as well, and they're up there eating shrimp and, and prime rib, got to meet some Packers. But now that I know what it went towards, man, you, anytime you guys need some help in that, you got to let me know. No, for sure. I mean, we appreciate it, obviously, and um, I'd like to get those tickets. How do I get those tickets? But <laughs> well, you know, Courtney, because I believe it or not, I've been a NASCAR announcer for over 30 years now. I've never been to a NASCAR race. So Courtney's like, next time you want to go to Iowa or maybe Chicago, well, the COVID's got all that screwed up this year. I'm going to take her up on that. But, yeah, I want to take you to Packer game, man. It's, it, it's, it's the life sitting up there, I tell you what. No, it sounds like it is. But, no, we appreciate it, obviously. Um that brought a lot of money, too, obviously, so um, we appreciate that. But, um, yeah, Packer games are fun. I've been to a couple. I don't. Rem I remember getting there, but I don't remember leaving. So um, <laughs> that's the name of the game. Yeah. Let's kind of shift into racing. Uh, Jim Soder Jr., I tell you what, man, I, I don't want to have you on Facebook because I see the trials and tribulations you have. You've got to find a year where this streak <laughs> of having to fix stuff stops. Well, I think when your stuff's a little bit far behind, you try a little harder, and that gets you in a bad position a lot of times. So that's where I'm at. I'm just I'm too far behind. I don't have the time or the interest, really, to, to do what I know I need to do. So uh, I think I'm probably going to run one more race at the end of this year, maybe the harvest up there at Golden Sands, and 
and just yes. call her quits because I got a lot of other stuff going on in my life. Well, you've got such a fantastic young family as well, and, and I know that they still support you every time you get in that shop. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and I hate to say it, but when I go to the shop, I go to work, and then if the family comes to the shop, I'm not really working. So, you know, it's kind of a conflict there. But, uh, yeah, they come, they try and help out as much as they can, but uh, time is just too valuable for me right now. Right, and then, of course, Johnny, every time I see you racing a super late model locally here in the state of Wisconsin, uh, Jim Jr.'s right there to, to give you a hand. I mean, I do, I could call it knee deep in your car again. Yeah, I mean, good help is hard to find on the short track scene, so that's why we got Jim or they're working on it. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like he said, it's harder to find time to work on the cars, but I'm still a night owl, so it's not the end of the world for me to put the kids to sleep at 8.30 and then go work till 2 in the morning. Um, I actually enjoy that being able to crank the radio up and work on my cars and stuff but short track racing is something that i don't know that i can just kick the habit i you know it's something that i'm pretty passionate about i tell people all the time i'm done i'm quitting i'm done but right i can't, I can't help myself so uh, i just ordered another new car the other day so um yeah i just i love it and there's still a couple races that i need to cross off my list before i'm done short track racing so um we'll definitely be hitting some of the wisconsin stuff here but um, i tell you what if you look at Yourself and Majeski and Kraus, they come back to Wisconsin every chance that they get. You guys are big names, and people love, as an announcer, I see it all the time, they love when you guys get off the big circuit and come back here and race Wisconsin because you're not forgetting the short tracks. Well, for me, I like short track racing. I grew up watching it, obviously. Um, and it's something I've never been able to just completely walk away from. So I enjoy it, and... Um, I don't know. I just I love working on the cars as much as I do racing them, and then I get to bring chum heads like this with me. Uh, <laughs> Weekends, yeah, the guys that the guys that actually make it happen is what he means. <laughs> oh we can fight and argue all night, so that's that's the fun of it. But right. um, I just love short track racing, and honestly, it's the purest form for me. It's the most fun, and um, I don't know. It just it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's. Uh, I love going to Wausau, though. I love going to the bar afterwards. That's that's the best part of the night is having a good night and then being able to go to the tavern afterwards. I, I just – and I'll, every racetrack, you know, there's the local hangouts, and that's that's what I look forward to the most is just going and, and hanging out and having a frozen pizza and, and talking. Well, we're going to let you guys go. You know, you got an autograph session coming up today, and a lot of people are going to mingle around trying to tr find upon both of you. But uh, it's been a lot of years coming. I've been wanting to do this show from up here. Uh, I really appreciate you guys stepping away from the fans out here and, and the rest of your family and, and spending some time with us. Uh, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming out and uh, giving it a little bit of publicity. Not a problem. Jim Sauter Jr., Johnny Sauter. Uh, you guys go have yourselves a good time. It was good Thanks. seating and good luck on the rest of the truck series this year. We'll see you guys at Fest. Thanks. All righty. Sauter Family Car Show. Man, there are a lot of people up here. Uh, we're going to get some B-roll later on, too, because some of these old cars out here are just outstanding. We did find Penguin's Ride for Oktoberfest. There's a VW Bug over there with a camper that's kind of tilted up. <laughs> Penguin, you're, you're going to be in that for Fest. And we're going to have Johnny come over and sign the door for you. All right, we're going to come back, and we're going we're gonna to find some more Sauters. They're all over the place out here from the Sauter Annual Car Show here in Aceta on KQEG-TV. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. Lacrosse has spoken. Hi, Jerry here, and once again, you voted us the best barbecue and caterer. This year, you added ribs. I'm truly humbled by this honor. If you haven't tried our barbecue, I invite you to stop in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Find out why Lacrosse County consistently votes us number one. Ribs, pulled pork, brisket, and chicken, and so much more. We also cater groups, large and small, Big Boar Barbecue, Highway 16, West Salem. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning is built to a higher standard, so you can focus on the problems in your life that really actually matter, like figuring out which remote turns the TV on, or the smell in the vegetable crisper that in no way can be vegetables, or finding your phone when you leave it on vibrate. Whatever you're worrying about, it won't be this. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, built to a higher standard. Welcome back, race fans. KQEG TV, Seven Rivers Racing finally got the TV show out on location. And I tell you what, there is no place I would have rather done the TV show this week than right here in Nesita. It is the Sauter Annual Family Car Show. 
and have always wanted to come up here and have never had a chance to do so. And this thing is a lot bigger than I would have ever, ever imagined it to be. Uh, we just talked to uh, Jim Sauter Jr. and Johnny. Next up, Tyler Saunders is going to join us. And a guy I haven't seen in quite a while. I, I got to know him quite well over two years, uh, about two or three years at the Lacrosse Speedway, and that would be Jay Sauter. Jay, good to see you. Oh, it's great. Uh, we're really glad you're here. Uh, great event. How you been? Can't complain, you know, it's just the same old thing. Uh, racers never quit racing, you know, so uh, we just keep going every week and see what happens. Of course, you've been wrenching, uh, what, the past four or five years on Sun Michael's uh, late model. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I enjoyed building them and, and seeing what he could do, and uh, unfortunately we decided to sell the car, and he's going on to different things for now, so we'll uh, see what the next phase is. We'll see if he gets the itch. Well, <laughs> he's already got the itch is the problem, so <laughs> we'll see what goes down the road here. Of course, Paul, the guy that you got standing next to you, I just got to now announcing uh, his race last week in the Thomas Sport of Speedway. Good to see Tyler Sauter yes, out. Yes, Tyler, good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. Yes. So uh, how has the season been going for you here with the uh, new sportsman ride this year? Uh, it's been going pretty good. Uh, we've had some good runs, uh, a couple of wins. Uh, I think all top fives we ran probably eight times. Um, really looking forward to Oktoberfest and um, let's see what next year brings. And a pretty good effort for you in the mid am race a few weeks ago. Yeah, if we would have had a little bit more motor, I think we would have, you know, really definitely had a shot. And how do you feel about uh, the sportsmen's invading the Mid American Series here now? Second year they've been doing that now. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. I think. Uh, I mean, they have to have the sportsmen's race somewhere. Uh, it's kind of a dying breed. So, um, Mid American Series picking them up and doing a good job of it. And Jay, a lot of Sauters. Still spread out racing, of course. Tyler uh, doing it at, at our at lacrosse this year and then coming over to Toma. How much do you guys as an entire family, because there's about seven, eight, nine of you, even eight buyers in, included, how much do you try to keep track of what the family members are doing on the racing circuits? Well, you know, you're always interested, so you're always keeping track, you know, whether it's a short track race or a NASCAR race or whatever it is, uh, Sauter's race, and so we got to keep track of them. And, of course, the Sauter name is so synonymous. When I moved out here, uh, back to Wisconsin in 2000, I thought, man, the Sauters are from Wisconsin. So, oh, one of these days, i got to go meet these guys. And 20, what, 2005, I finally move out here, and then I get to meet you at, at the Lacrosse Speedway, and then you ran, what did you run, two years, three years? I only actually ran one season out oh. there. I think that was 2009 or 10, and then, uh, and of course, Michael started out there in 11. So, so what did you think of that last year at Lacrosse? Every time I came down, you were either wrenching on it, sweating, or smiling. <laughs> well, I enjoy what I do. Um, you know, I had a great time running out there. I hadn't been there probably since 1983 as running full time, and then to come back in the, in 2000 or 2005, it was a lot of fun. And uh, you know, it's it's a great place to learn. That's where I learned all my skills is lacrosse and the Dells and Madison. So it's Wisconsin's a great training ground for racers. You know, as you watch NASCAR, Xfinity trucks nowadays, and you kind of sit back with a beer and you kind of reflect on the days that you used to run. What are some of the biggest changes? that you've seen that you're like, man, I wish they wouldn't have done this or gone to this because you come from hard-nosed racing back in the day. Yeah, I mean, it's changed so much, and that's just uh, the involvement of corporations, which brings in more dollars, and when they bring that money, they have specific kind of racers or people that they're looking for to represent their product. So that's what's changed. Back in the day, we wrenched on the cars, and then we crawled in and raced them, and now things are a little different, a little more clean, a little more streamlined. So it's just... I, I think the money has had the biggest effect on it, and it's not always positive. You know, Tyler, as we talk about going from those ranks down to your ranks here, things when you first started are not the same as they used to be as well. I can't believe how fast your sportsman is if you run at lacrosse and Toma compares to years ago. Yeah, we're running sportsman lap times as fast as what we used to run in limited late models at the Dells, and it's, it's crazy. You get a chance to kind of sit back and, Talk to these guys about your racing now and, and, and watch what Johnny does. And, and I mean, obviously at Fest, you're always ranching in your car at a different location from where they're parked at. Yeah, um, it's kind of a crazy deal. You go down there and you see what they're doing and what we're doing. It's the same thing. It's only different. Cars are 30 years apart of each other, and uh, we're doing the same thing. Jay, let's kind of talk about the grounds we're here at. Uh, a lot of memories come here. And according to Johnny, you guys have... All gone to school here. It's kind of parked behind this beautiful uh, entry. Um, talk about this fundraiser because, again, I never thought, I never even knew it was this big. Yeah. Well, you know, it was a vision that my dad had when the Catholic school was started here. And 
they needed to raise funding to get the ball rolling and a couple of members of the community himself put this plant program together and uh, they did a great job with it. The community in this area is wonderful and they've all come out and supported it and uh, it continues to grow. So uh, it, just, it, was, it was a great vision and, and as, as kids we're, we're real happy to carry it on. I got some of my sisters, Jennifer and Andrea, that are really super involved in it and it probably wouldn't happen without their involvement. So it's a family effort. And I got to thank Jennifer. Katie Sauter lined me up with her, so I told her what we wanted to do today, and she said, oh, my goodness, bring the TV crew out there because no one's ever done anything like that before. Um, 18 years you guys have been doing this. I mean, you just got to sit back and go, this is, this is incredible. Yeah, I mean, you know, when they when they first started it, it seemed like a daunting task. And, uh, you know, now we have set up and, and everything goes down. It all happens in one day. We've been doing it so long. So there's just a lot of community support and that's the key all these guys that bring their cars and their trucks you know they're from all over as far away as minnesota and illinois um they love this kind of thing and they come out to support it and that's what it's all about Nino you know, tyler paul and i were watching jay over on this side here parking cars he's been parking cars for like 45 minutes i haven't seen you park a single car yet well there's bearded needs to be <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna be singing later on uh, probably you guys got a big autograph session, too, and, and for you to be able to sit with the entire Sauter family while all these people come through that tent, that's got to make you kind of sit back and go, man, this is this is really cool. It's one of those things that really brings you down to earth. Yeah, it sure does. It's pretty awesome to be part of a group of guys that have done everything in the racing world, pretty much. Now, you know Penguin wants you to specifically sign his shirt. He doesn't want the poster. He needs a signature on the shirt. Can we make that happen? Make anything happen around here. 20 bucks, Paul. Going to cost you 20 bucks. Yep, there's the Sharpie right there. Tell you, I've, I've been announcing Tyler for, for quite a many years. Uh, he's come to some gigs of DJ. Great individual right there. Again, uh, I miss Jay at the Lacrosse Speedway and just watching how Michael has grown up, not only racing but even out of the car uh, on his Facebook page. So you got to be a mighty proud father right there. And you're Saunders. Well, you're all proud. Well, we're, we're very fortunate. You know, we've been blessed, and uh, racing has been good to us, and, and we've always had great people around us, and including you guys coming out here today. I mean, it's great to support the situation. Well, we got one more segment to do to really let people know what goes on here at the Sauter Family Car Show, seeing a lot of familiar faces from La Crosse and Toma, Madison, Elko, all over the place that are down to help celebrate the Sauter family. We're going to be back with one more segment from the Sauter Annual Car Show here in the seat of next on KQEG TV. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. Well, you've done it again. Hi, Jerry here. You've ordered us the number one barbecue and caterer for the fifth year in a row. This year you added ribs. Now, if you haven't tried our barbecue, let me personally invite you to try the best ribs, pulled pork, brisket, chicken, and so much more. Visit us on Highway 16 West Salem. Dine in or outside one of our picnic tables. drive through and carry out is always available. Big Boar Barbecue, a delicious mouthful. <laughs> American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning is built to a higher standard, so you can focus on the problems in your life that really actually matter, like figuring out which remote turns the TV on, or the smell in the vegetable crisper that in no way can be vegetables, or finding your phone when you leave it on vibrate. Whatever you're worrying about, it won't be this. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, built to a higher standard. Welcome back one more time, race fans. KQEG TV, Seven Rivers Racing. Finally getting to do this TV show. We've had it for 10 years, and I've always wanted to come up here and do the entire show to help celebrate the Sauter name, the rich history, the racing history, and exactly what they're doing on the grounds here today. And again, uh, this has just been phenomenal. It's like a little Oktoberfest, Paul, because yes, every is. time I turn around, I know. we know people from all yes. over the place. Yes, and we see cars over here, like the one Kirby Kurth has, the old trickle car there. So it's and, this is blow, just blows my mind just being here today for the first time. And we're lucky to get the people on that we wanted to get on because they're not just sitting here signing autographs, drinking beer. They're parking cars. We just had Jay Sauter running a minute ago, and our next guest was doing the same thing. Uh, first time we've ever had him on on the, the TV or the radio show, and that would be Tim Sauter. Tim, great to see you again. Hey, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. This is like a, I was telling Johnny. Johnny and Courtney got a hold of me last year. Hey, you've got some connection with the Packers. Can you help us out? So I gave some VIP the whole big treatment. Uh, ladies spent like two grand on them, had a great time. Matter of fact, I went to the game with her. 
and I didn't know it was going towards this. This is phenomenal. Yeah, it really is. It's something my father started uh, because all of his grandkids were going to school here, and uh, they got a little short on money one year, and he dreamed this idea up, and it's just continued to grow. And I told Jay, what do you think now that you're standing here 18 years later? Uh, it's pretty incredible. I think he'd be really proud of uh, everybody that's uh, supporting it and working behind the scenes. My sisters do a phenomenal job with it. So just proud of the whole family for working hard, uh, trying to continue to do a good job for them. And, you know, Paul, as we were talking on the way up here, the solder name is so synonymous with auto racing for so many years. Yes. One of the things I've liked to do is stand back and watch you guys get grabbed by every single person up here. Hey, do you remember back in 1979? <laughs> you remember in 86? When someone does that, do you really remember? Uh, I, I'm getting older, so I'm starting to lose it a little bit, but I do remember quite a bit of it. Uh, I lived it. I got to see the best of the best, and... Uh, being a kid growing up, I couldn't have lived at a better time with uh, Trickle and Marzovka and Refner and my dad and just a host of uh, great racers. So uh, I got to watch them. I got to actually race with a few of them. And then I raced with some of the sons and the grandsons. So I feel like I'm probably one of the luckiest because I've seen it all. Any any uh, history you want to bring up with Mr. Sauter there, Paul? Oh, well, it's, I mean... This is the first family of racing in the state of Wisconsin, from Jim, Jim Jr., Tim, Jay, uh, Johnny, uh, Tyler, Travis, e even, of course, let's forget about Angela, who has that great singing voice. I mean, this this is the f first family of racing in the state of Wisconsin, and uh, how does that make you feel? Well, I mean, we never really set out to be that, but uh, I guess we've acquired that, and I think we've always just been a good ambassador for, for motorsports in general. Uh, just my father was always about clean family fun, and, and uh, he, he loved God and the Blessed Mother, and, and so people are attracted to that. They're attracted to good people, and, and we're just trying to live it. How much do you get to watch, and we've asked everybody that's been up here so far, all five saunters, how much do you actually get to watch uh, Tyler at, at, well, you probably would have saw him at Tommy here a couple of weeks ago with the Mid-American Stock Car Series, um, when Travis gets out and runs, Johnny on TV. But how much do you get a chance to really sit on and watch the, the family members race? Well, I uh, so I quit at the end of 16 and uh, quit driving. And uh, so I didn't go for a year because it's hard to, <laughs> it's, it's hard to go and watch. So uh, this year I've actually went quite a bit. I've been spotting for Johnny and when he runs the short track car. I went and watched Travis twice. I went and watched uh, Tyler twice this year. So a little more involved this year. You ever sit back and go, you know, Tyler, you're not doing it right. You're not cornering right. Or, you know, I mean, even giving Johnny tips for as much experience you has. Did, did the Sauters get together when, when it's race day and say, you know, you should try this or do this? Uh, not on race day, but we do talk. Uh, mostly on race day, we just fight and argue. So, <laughs> uh, the, two weeks ago after uh, Tyler ran at Toma, I did go the following night to the Dells. And uh, he was leading. He should have been second. He ended up fourth. And I said, I leaned in the window and said, you know, you could have been second at least. And he just kind of <laughs> smirked at me, and I thought, well, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> So, again, uh, looking around at this vast area up here uh, in the seat of some of these old cars, are you getting any flashbacks from any of these rides? Uh, not not a whole lot. I mean, I, I know a lot of the people. A lot of the people come here yearly. Uh, this Which year is and, outstanding. Yeah. And, I mean, that's a testament to what we're doing. And uh, we do have a lot of new people here this year, and, and that's pretty cool as well. How much bigger can this thing get? I mean, you've got a picture-perfect weather day. There's hundreds of people all the way around here. And this thing is just getting started. I mean, you guys go for another couple of hours here. Uh, big autograph session coming up. And we have we have not sampled the food yet either, by the no, way, Paul. No, we haven't. <laughs> How much bigger? I mean, obviously, you guys would like to see this thing just keep, continually grow. Yeah. I mean, we've got room to, to get bigger. Uh, we've kind of uh, exceeded our expectations here today, but... Uh, you know, we've, we've got plenty of room to grow it, so we'll just keep keep working away at it. One of the coolest things, and I've been doing things like this for many, 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 many years, you have people up here that don't know about the school, don't know about the property, may not be with the Catholic religion, but all that's aside, they're help up here to help you folks make money. 
Yeah, they really are. I mean, it's, you know, we have a specific interest in mind, you know, with helping the school. Uh, it helps pay the teachers and, and maintain uh, the school. And uh, so along with all this racing, we've acquired so many friends over 40 years. Right. Uh, they just they just come out in groves and and uh, business associates of all the all of us boys everybody just keeps coming and helping so uh, it's been great. Well, hopefully this thing continues to grow. At, like I said, after 14 years, I'm finally up here. Uh, this is our last segment, so we can actually wander around and look at some of these oldies but goodies and uh, and get some of the flavor of the Sauter Family Car Show. Uh, really, greatly appreciate from an outsider looking in of, of what your family has done for this community, uh, for racing in general in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, good luck to you guys, and, and hopefully this thing just continues to grow. Well, thank you. We appreciate it, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep working at it, and uh with the world the way it is right now, uh, we need all the help we can get, and we try to spread that good cheer. All right, Tim Sauter. I want to thank all the Sauters for coming on the program today. The only one we didn't get to was A. Byers and Michael Sauter, but we'll get him on the radio here soon enough. Uh, I want to thank all the Sauters for letting us come up and do the entire TV show here. We're going to cut some DVDs, and we're going to be giving them to the family here through the next couple of weeks as well. Paul Reichert, I think it's time we roam around and look at some of these fantastic yes, cars. Yes, the cars, and, of course, you're going to be – Eating a lot of food. I'll be eating. Yeah, Maybe but... Kirby Kurth will let you sit in the Dick yeah. Trickle 99. <laughs> Doubtful. All right, that's going to do it from Nasita. Can't wait to come back up here and do it again next year. And uh, remember, they're going to be back at Oktoberfest. Can't wait to see the solder name running around the 5 8 Mile. For Doc, he's back at home. Paul Penguin, I'm Dan Dyker. Thanks for joining us on KQEG TV. You've been watching Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG TV with Dan the Voice Dyker, Billy Doc Niles, and Paul the Statman Riker. Brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue, Highway 16 West Salem, in La Crosse on 3rd Street downtown, and George and Lunch Street. Big Boar Barbecue, now that's a mouthful. By Terry Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist, serving the La Crosse area since 1929. Terry Heating and Air Conditioning. Thanks for watching Seven Rivers Racing on KQED TV. You don't have to fly to Kansas City. To get great barbecue. Lacrosse has spoken. Hi, Jerry here, and once again, you voted us the best barbecue and caterer. This year, you added ribs. I'm truly humbled by this honor. If you haven't tried our barbecue, I invite you to stop in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Find out why Lacrosse County consistently votes us number one ribs, pulled pork, brisket, and chicken, and so much more. We also cater groups, large and small, Big Boar Barbecue, Highway 16, West Salem.